Chris, and this is my 2006 Kawasaki Vulcan 900 Classic. Um, it's my first bike, it's the bike I learned to ride on, and if you can see, it has zero storage, nowhere to put anything. So, that is why I was looking for a good sissy bar bag. Um, I got this bag because um, I was referred to Viking bags from a friend who was really happy with some saddle bags that he bought. Um, I like the sissy bar idea because I like to be able to remove it, take it inside with me if we're going on a trip or something like that, or at least the idea of that. Um, so that is why I wanted a sissy bar bag. I got this a couple weeks ago in the mail. I got it through Amazon. Uh, I ordered it, they shipped it the same day, and I got it in the mail two or three days later, and so it was super convenient, fast, easy. Um, so, um, things I like about the bag. Um, for one thing, super easy to install. So, on the back, obviously it has the little, the little thing you just slide over your sissy bar, and then depending on what size or um, type of sissy bar you have, these bars move. There's three different adjustments, wider or more narrow, um, however however you need it to be, so that's good. It fits pretty much anything. Um, there's a lot of different compartments, a lot of features about the bag, so I'll try to remember them all. Um, I have this side expanded to show you how big the bag can actually be if you need it to be, and then this side still zipped up so you can see um, the difference. So, uh, first of all, this bag on top, super easy to detach. This is the same on the back side as well. Velcro and just clips. Um, people use these for different things. It's nice to be able to detach just this one bag if you need. Um, in my case, uh, we like to go to the mountains, we like to hike. Um, so we're looking really forward to fall in North Carolina, going up to see the leaves and ride and um, hike as well. So for me, I will probably want to keep my dirty hiking boots um, separate from everything else. And so it's great for this. This thing's huge. It fits my shoes in there with no problem. Um, also, the uh, bags came with a poncho for wet weather, as well as um, more straps and so it also comes with backpack straps in case you want to take it off take it in the hotel, campsite, whatever with you, makes it easier to carry, especially if it's a little heavier. Um, I could have fit much more in here, it's pretty large, I'm not sure if you can tell, but um, that's super handy. So um, on the sides there are um, different compartments, it's just a rubber band that came off the packaging. Um, there are two side pockets, pretty much everything's symmetrical, the same on both sides. Um, so the side compartments, um, if you want it to expand out, you can expand this outer zipper um, and make it, what's that, like two inches, uh, fit two inches more in there. And they're just deep pockets, great to fit anything in. Both sides also have this mesh pockets as well. Um, as you can see, it expands a good bit on both sides, I mean that adds for a female like me, uh, you can fit another couple outfits or pair of shoes with these expanded um, parts. And like I said, for us, um, we generally ride to the mountains, we like to hike and stuff like that. So for me to be able to fit as much in here as possible, especially um, for me being a female, I like to, I carry my hiking boots, I have all my riding stuff, um, I want to carry a decent pair of clothes if we want to go out to eat or something like that. Shower shoes are a must if I'm traveling. So all that stuff I wanted to make sure would fit in the bag, so that's why I got the large size. Um, other compartments on the front, this bottom one is more of a flat pocket. Um, if you have no storage on your bike whatsoever, like me, um, it's good for, for documents, stuff that we need, license registration, that kind of thing. Um, the one above it, you can fit a, uh, just a buckle clip. Um, you can fit, it has different compartments for like cell phone, credit cards, pens, pencils, um, and you can even put like a small tablet in there as well. Um, so when you open it up, there's tons of room inside this thing. Um, inside is another mesh pocket, dirty clothes or, or things you want to keep separate. Um, and then I went ahead and packed it with like a kind of simulated things that I would take on a trip just to see how much I could actually fit in there. I put um, three outfits, um, all my bath and body stuff as well as um, an extra pair of shower shoes and pajamas and that all fit with a ton of room to spare. So I'll take it all out. 
out and just kind of show you what's left room wise in there. And as you can see, huge space and also two side mesh pockets on both sides here. So tons of compartments, tons of storage. I can fit everything I need more than I actually expected in here, which is great for me and not have to feel like I'm missing anything or having to do without anything at all. Um, these bags were a super good price. I definitely, of course, just like everyone else, I'm looking for something that's, that's friendly to my wallet, and this definitely did that. Um, I can't wait to get on the road this fall, like I said, do some mountain trips um, and try them out and see exactly how much I can get away with fitting in here. Um, so again, this has been a review of my Viking Bags um, Sissy Bar bag, the large size, and I hope you um, find my review useful, and thanks for watching.